it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today it is the time for me to make a project with the craft box that I received. Now if you haven't seen it I have posted a video up last Monday with a opening of the craft box so I'll show you all the contents before I have basically taken them all to bits like I have here. I've been in there diving in and sorting out exactly what I want. I think it's a fabulous craft box as always. i am really enjoyed what I've come up with and however just before we get going I want to just say a couple of things. Firstly just to say that um, I am aware that we're still posting once a week at the moment. I for those of you that don't follow me on any of my social media, why not? Um, but no, in all seriousness, if you don't follow, follow me on social media, then you might not have seen the comments that I've made and the posts that I've made saying that, that I'm working on this hashtag surprise, which in some way really is more for me than you. I mean, obviously it's not a surprise to me because I know about it, but um, I'm hoping that you guys are gonna be as excited about it as I am. But um, as I'm working on that, it means that a lot of my time has been taken up with that rather than filming and editing, etc. Uh, I just wanted to explain to you guys who perhaps don't go on my social media as to why there's been a drop off on the post. Okay, so now let's get on with today's craft box project. Okay, so if you watch the video of the opening of the craft box, you will see that it came with a canvas. And at the time I said to you, this is something really new to me. It's not something that I've used before. And I definitely wanted to try and come up with a project that made me use that because it's something different and I think part of the fun of these boxes is getting it to push you past your normal boundaries of what you like to do and what you normally do so I think that's part of the fun. Okay so we're going to be using this canvas so we need to do a bit of prep work and on it first. Did, first of all and it's something I do quite often is I got the elements and I went through I basically went through all the bits in the box and I started laying things out and just working out where I wanted to put things and just I mean obviously nothing was stuck down so things tend to roll about a bit and move and they don't quite go exactly where you want but you get a rough idea of your design and and I snap a picture of it and it works really cool because you've got a photo record of it and you can then just look back. So I've got a record there of what I've got and I can then just look back at it. It's very rough, it's, but it just will remind you of your design idea. Now let's start prepping. So here, as I say, I've got the canvas. I'm gonna use this portrait and I grabbed, I'm going with the sort of postal color theme that I talked about that was quite prominent, the blues and the lovely goldy kind of craft colors. And I really liked that. So I haven't, you could add some red in there if you really wanted to go for those three kind of post or shipping type colors that you get on sort of airmail type things like these colors, but I decided other than that, I really haven't got any red on it at all. I've decided just to stick to the blue and the cream. So these aren't the paints that I normally use. These are some old ones that I had, but there's enough in here. And I had some colors still that had enough in. Luckily, they were the two colors that I liked. I think I got extra of this one because it's such a lovely, creamy tone. So these are the Piebo, I think Piebo. I don't quite know how you say that, to be honest and we've got here antique white and dark blue so those are the colors that i am going looking up at a pale pink sky it's telling me i'm gonna be all right i'm gonna be all right say hello to my mr moon like nature i will be renewed i will be renewed there we go so it's not gonna show massively because it is going to be mostly covered up and then i'm going to get this i feel your
drying my eyes It's telling me I'm gonna be alright I'm gonna be alright Okay now I don't know what that's gonna look like. I think a lot of this is gonna be covered, so it's not gonna be a big deal, but you're just gonna get little sneak peeks of it. So I think that will look cool. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do in preparation is take this little bottle here. I've taken the smaller of the two, and I want to do a couple of things with this. So the first thing I want to do is take this gorgeous uh, cosmic shimmer mica flakes and fill up my bottle with these mica flakes so I'm just going to put a piece of paper down and then I'm going to carefully I say goodbye to melancholy me like a leaf falls from a tree Okay, so that's, I think, just nice because then it's got a bit of movement. Um, if you filled it all the way to the top, that would still look really nice, but it's a bit like a shaker card. If you fill it all the way, there's no room for the shake. So now we need to put the little cork in, but in order that, you know, somebody's walking, you know, picking up their card or, in this case, a little canvas picture, and they put it up on the on their shelf or whatever, and then the cork comes out, and there's bits of mica um, flakes everywhere. So in order to stop that, I'm going to take my cosmic uh, my cosmic shimmer. I'm going to take my glossy accents, and I'm going to just pop that on the cork around all the sides here. They should then just hold that in place so that once it's dry it will be there to stay okay it also means just clear up any excess around the top there just using my little pointy tool here um, but it also means is that you don't have to push your cork quite as far down as perhaps you might have done had you not glued it in position. Now, I'm not going to tilt this because if there's any of the cosmic, uh, keep calling it cosmic shimmer, if there's any of the glossy accents down the bottom part of the cork, then it will obviously stick to that. So we don't want that. So I am just going to leave that again to just dry. So that's those items so I'm just going to take here my Cosmic Shimmer Vintage Lunar White. It's got kind of like, um, it's got silver bits and it's also got like these little blue elements in it, which is kind of cute. I've also got some gold here as well, some Cosmic Shimmer uh, Bright Metallic Gold or Bright Gold Metallic. <laughs> as a leaf falls from the tree I That looks cool, pleased with that. So now I'm just put that to one side, let that cool off, dry off, dry off, it's not wet, <laughs> cool off. And now we're going to do our frame here.
our finished frame and I think that looks really nice. Just adding those layers, it accents this gold here, it links it up and I think it works really well. Okay, so basically what we've been doing is prepping all the elements so that everything is sort of ready to go. So we've prepped our base of our canvas now, we've prepped our frame and we have the last thing that we had that we've prepped is our little bottle. So we've got one more bit to our little bottle and then we are ready to go and put everything together. So I've got here this metal element that was in the box that says find joy in the journey and I've got a piece of a reel of my own baker's twine. We're going to put the baker's twine through the hole here. Let's cut a piece off and then, so I've threaded that through, I'm going to knot it like so, so it stays in place. So that looks cool and then we're going to take my twine and I'm going to decide how much hang I want to have so I think probably about just so it hangs kind of about there so not too much and then I'm going to knot just a knot through like so so that we've got that there and then that piece you see with that knot's going to sit against there so that then when we wrap this around and knot it the other side you've got something to pull against otherwise it would just keep coming further and further up towards this tag so shall just put the knot through now and then I'll put that on so then just knot that on like so okay and then I'm just going to double knot it so I've now tied it around there and then we're going to just do a teeny weeny bow okay so that's bowed and then I'm just going to take a little snip off each side so now we have a little tag on our bottle here and I think that looks really cute so this is all our elements now prepped. So now it's time to start putting it all together. Okay, so we're gonna start with, okay, so let's start putting it together. So now I've taken, I'm going with like a Paris theme. So I've taken this gorgeous photograph, which I think is just adorable. And I've got, this envelope so that's gonna sit kind of like so so I think that looks really good and then my frame is gonna sit like this so the heart is there and the arrow is pointing at our two lovers there I'm then gonna take this paper clip that was pre-done with the bows but you could choose your own and put your own on and I am going to slide that over my envelope okay I think that looks pretty good so what we want to do now is stick down my envelope and photograph so I am going to use my hot glue for that <laughs> Stole your 
heart away Honey, wanna be all yours until my dying day I put on the charm with a dance that made you swoon You were like a howling wolf calling to the moon I'm a gypsy lover, so I had to set you free You were in my arms because of trickery As I sang for you, my melody would pull you in I was like a mermaid hoping you would take a swim Was it real? I still feel the way you felt Was it true? Or were you just under my spell? Spell I'm a gypsy lover, so I left you in the night Hoping you would look for me under the starry sky Terrified to know I laid alone in fields of hope So if you never come, I guess I'll finally know Was it real? I still feel the way you felt Was it true? Or were you just under my spell?
I guess you would call it. I think it is really lovely. I'm really pleased. It's so nice to um, kind of be forcing yourself into something different to what you normally do um, because the canvas was in there. I'd never tried anything like that before and I thought it would be such fun to try something new. And I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. I think it looks so nice. Do make sure that you go across to the blog post to take a look at the photos because I don't think you'll really get to see all the elements that are on here without the photographs, the close-ups that I will take of this. So do make sure you go across and have a look. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye. Say hello to my Mr. Moon. Like nature I will be renewed. I will be renewed I feel